Hey everyone, this is Mr. West. Today we're doing long division with a grid. This is a worksheet from mathdrills.com. There'll be a link in the description below if you guys wanna check it out. They got a lot of great resources. But let's go ahead and take a look at some of these problems. This is long division. So obviously some prerequisites, it would be good to have some multiplication background. Obviously you gotta know what division is. But if just for an easy example, okay, if we do 10 divided by 2, what is this really saying? This is saying, let me change this color. I'm not a big fan of that one. Uh, this is saying something times 2, okay, 2 times that same something equals 10. Okay, so it's basically just the, the reverse of multiplication. And this is 5, as we know. So 2 times 5 equals 10. So how do we do this? Well, it's a step-by-step -step process. We could obviously just try to figure out some big number that would go into it and just guess and check, but that's not an efficient way to do it. The best way to do it is break it up into its components and then go from there. Let me show you how that works. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna try to see the smallest number that uh, four goes into of this bigger number, okay? So if we're gonna look here, we're gonna first just look at the first digit of that divisor, okay? And do we know that this four goes into that eight and that's a yes, okay? It does fit into that eight, okay? What I mean by that is we can multiply it by something and it will equal eight, okay? Or something under eight, at least it will fit into it. Like for example, four fits into eight, okay? It's, it's smaller than eight, so it fits in. We can't have it be bigger than that, okay? That's too much. But it can, it's okay if it is smaller and I'll explain that in a little bit more detail later, okay? Let me change this uh, to a blue color just so we can stay on the same page here. So I'm gonna put two here because four goes into this eight, four times two equals eight, okay? So that fits into it and we can go ahead and put that result. Four times two equals eight. Now what we're gonna do is, I like this uh, template actually for math drills because it sets it up very nicely. So now we can just do eight minus eight as it's indicating right here, and that gives zero, okay? What's the next step? Well, the next step is, well, we have all these other digits. We know four goes into eight two times, but that's not the number. The whole number, the divisor is 888. So we still have to figure out some more digits here. So we're gonna drop down this next digit, okay? So the number is zero eight, or just, if you wanna just imagine, that's just eight, okay? I'm gonna leave it there because zero eight is the same thing as eight. But now we're trying to figure out how many times does four go into that new number? What do we multiply by four to get 08? And it's the same thing. We multiply by two, and that dot means multiplication, just in case you're wondering. Um, so four times two gives us uh, eight, and that's now we're counting for two digits, okay? But we have to write that result. So four times two, as we said, is eight. And now we're gonna do that subtraction. Eight, times, uh, eight minus eight is zero. And we had a result of zero, but we're not done because that was 88. So if we just do four times 22, that would give us 88 or 88 divided by four, okay, would be 22, but that's not the number. The number is 888 divided by four. And that's another way to write this, by the way. We have obviously the little house, okay? So the house is this thing right here. That's a way to indicate division, or you can write it like this. This is all saying the same thing, 88, 888 divided by four, uh, 888 divided by four, two different ways, and then obviously 888 divided by four. I digress, we have one last step here. Let me go to purple. We have to drop down the last digit. So we're gonna drop this guy down, add it on right at the end here, and now we have the same number, eight. We already know it goes in two times, and four times two gives us eight. And this last thing, this is an important number. This is our remainder, okay? So if it's a remainder zero, that means it fits in perfectly into the number without any little pieces at the end, okay? For example, if we had uh, four people eating five pieces of pizza, obviously someone's gonna get uh, an extra piece, an extra slice of pizza, okay? So that's that would be a remainder, okay? There's one remainder in that example. There's zero remainders in this example, okay? So it's just 222 is our answer. I'm gonna go on to number six. This one's a little bit, or this is number one. That was number two. Let's just label it real quick. So that was two, this is number one, okay? So for this one, same process, but you're gonna note that if we look at six, okay, this is the problem, 311 divided by six. We wanna see how many times six fits into 311, okay? Or what do we multiply by six 
to equal 311, okay? And that number is right there. What, what number do we multiply by 60 at 311? First thing we wanna do is we wanna see six into the first digit. Okay, does six fit into three? No, it's too big. Okay, this is what I was talking about being too big. Six does not fit into three. There's nothing we can multiply, no uh, whole number. We can multiply by six to get to three. It's too big, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're not gonna look at the three by itself. We're gonna move on to the combined number 31, okay? And six does in fact fit into 31. So that's the process. If it doesn't fit into that first digit, then you're gonna extend it and you're gonna look at uh, two digits instead of just one. So six goes into 31 five times. Okay, that's, I mean, you could just multiply by four and that would take 24, but we can get even closer. You wanna get as close as possible. And we know six times five is 30, okay? So six times five is 30. If we did six times six, that would be too big, okay? 36 is bigger than 31. We can't go over, okay? It's like the price is right, we gotta go under. Okay, so we gotta go under that, and that is 30. So now we have 31 minus 30. We wanna see what's left over, okay? Because we have to count for that extra one in there. So we're gonna do 31 minus 30, and that's just one, okay? So right now we have a remainder, but keep in mind, we still have to drop down these remaining digits. Let's stay consistent with the colors here. So now I'm looking at the digit one, and I need to drop him down, okay? And it's different because here we had the zero, but now we have a different number, we have 11, okay? So now we're thinking about the number 11, okay? And how many times does six go into 11? That's just one time. Six times uh, one is six. If we did six times two, that'd be 12. That's no good because that's too big. We already talked about that, okay? So I'm just gonna put a one here. Oh, I forgot one thing. I didn't put this five here because the six did not uh, go into the three. I put it over the one because now I'm talking about 31 together. And that's why I put it over this one's place for that 31. That's just like a notation thing. Okay, sorry, back to the story. So I, it goes in one time and that's 11. Uh, sorry, it goes in one time and that's six. Okay, so if I did six times one, that's six. That's the biggest it can uh, be because 12 is too big. That's the most times it can fit into. So now we have 11 minus six and that's what's gonna be left over. So we do 11 minus six and that's five and there's nothing else to drop down, okay? So what does this guy become? This becomes our remainder, okay? So this is our remainder. So for now, our answer would be expressed like this. It would be 51 remainder five, okay? That looks like a S, there we go. 51 remainder five, okay? That's one way to write it, or you can just write out the word remainder, so 51 remainder five, okay? That would be another way to say it. Uh, let me move this over. So 51 remainder five. <laughs> I think you guys get the point. Okay, so 51 remainder five. And that's the whole step. Obviously, uh, all these little templates are gonna tell you how many steps you need to have in place here. So, and that's gonna be the process. Let me do one more just real fast and uh, you know rewind if you need it, but I'm just gonna look here. Five goes into six one time. I don't need to go to the 67 and that's, and that's five. Okay, so five times one. Again, you're always doing that multiplication five times that number you write up there. And I do the subtraction and I get one. I have to drop down the seven, okay? And that's 17. Five goes into 17 three times, and that number is 15. Again, I do five times three to get 15. I have a remainder here, that's two, and I have to drop down the next number in line. Sorry about the color change, I didn't mean to do that, but. Uh, so five goes into 26, how many times? It goes in five times, and that's 25, and I'm gonna have a remainder one. So what's my answer? My answer is 135 remainder one. And that's how you do these types of problems. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out more videos like this on this channel. There's tons of math drills videos and other types of videos to help you with any concept. There's uh, special features, you name it. Go ahead and search around. And if you have any other questions, leave a comment. Look forward to seeing that. And I look forward to seeing you right here next time on West Explains Best.